guys, we are back on the build. Just me and the two youngers today. We are working on Rip Lane again. No number today. Trying to set up some platforms, make it easier. It's not easy to set the platforms up because the ground's a bit irregular here. We're trying to figure it out. Um, build up some platforms here. I'm going to try and get this up to the top on both sides. I'm trying to work on today. I need to raise that back one more. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want a bit like that, sir?
20 on 100. like the last one was pretty much. Right, so from the yeah. well, this from one is from the back of that one. So from the back of that one to the back of that one. Basically, yeah. So you want that measurement for the second steel. Yeah.
Can you do a, a 3D drawing of that? A model? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Might get a little job. <laughs> and I'll send that to the guy. Huh? Oh,
right guys so we're done for today the boys have just left i'm just about to leave and get out of here so yeah a <clears throat> good productive day as i said the three of us the guys did a little bit of brick lane as well so i spent a little bit of time with them off camera so you know what i mean it's a good opportunity to do that so didn't get as much as i'd like to have got done but happy with the progress um so i'm going to show you guys what we've done also i've got something i want to run by a couple of you guys and tell me what you guys think maybe some ideas might come up um with this part of the design of the house but let me show you all right guys so you guys might remember this pad stone we put on on this solid wall here it's a solid wall here um so obviously that pad stone is sort of on the corner internally so you can't see it from the outside still sits on it i did cut off that little tab of the steel that was there because it was going in the way of where the other steel is going to go which is going to sit on this pad stone and cut this way um now that pad stone is the pad stone that's been specced it's also the same as that one as you see the width of it it's 215 215 wide it's the same same pad stone and it's supposed to support that steel sitting from here which is going to run across onto there and there's uh, this pad stone sitting on that end so that's that's the design with it now the problem is i'll show you guys from the other side the problem is on the other side you see the pad stone so you're going to see this random pad stone in the middle of the wall obviously it's going to be bricked all around because the bricks are going to come all the way up which is what i'm going to work on tomorrow and get the rest of the brick work up here it's got the bricks going to cover the steel so the steel will be hidden because the, the, the bricks are going to sort of be laid inside the steel so the steel should be sort of sort of pretty much non-existent you won't you won't know it's there but the pad stone you will now this is the full width the 215 mil is the full width of the wall so it sits right on the edge this side and right on the edge the other side uh, but the only thing is you will see it so i mean it's one of those things would be nice if it was engraved or something and you had something on it um but at the moment this is how it's designed because he's put a solid wall here um obviously i can't you know i don't want to I, I can't really change the pad stone or do anything else i don't know why it was designed like that to be honest if there was another way it could have been done the other thing is this this um structural engineer is very hard to get hold of i've been trying to get hold of him so has the customer he hasn't got back to us in like two weeks so if it was a matter of just getting hold of him i would have done that but i'm just trying to think if there's you guys any ideas of anything i don't know maybe we might be able to to i know you can get dyes and stuff like that and maybe dye and paint it somehow i don't know to, when when it's all done to to make it look like a brick i don't know somehow i'm just thinking ideas in my head but yeah if anyone's got any ideas let me know but moving on with that this is pretty much what we've done today you can see where we've worked on here we've brought this all the way around to door height on this side we also brought it round to door height on the other side. We did a little bit of block lane on the inside here. Uh, Tristan had literally just started block lane inside here. He's done about three blocks. So I'd given him that as a little project to do. So I'll let him carry on with that tomorrow. But this is what the space is looking like now. We have our doorway for the bifold pretty much at door height. Um, so once we get the rest of those blocks up we're ready for the lintel to go across on there and um i hope tomorrow to get the brickwork up to that side as well on the door so we can get the door lintel in as well so hopefully by tomorrow we can get this corner up get for the lintel here get the block work up to the lintel i want to work on all these little cuts and stuff around inside here and close up the steel end here and also that back wall here finish up the the brickwork up here so i think we can get that done tomorrow and namdi's here with us as well um but we are actually running out of bricks so yeah, it is a bit short on the bricks so i need to i need to get some more bricks in so i think tomorrow probably if we could finish the bricks that are here would be great you know and then work on the block work hey guys so that's it so yeah let me know what you guys think of that idea and what do you think about this padstone um issue um you know it's not the end of the world but it'd be nice if it was hidden you know what i mean but um besides the the drawing besides the design being changed 
and the padstone size being recalculated and all that stuff and going back to the council i can't see what can be done without you know to hide it so you're probably gonna have to stay like that but anyway guys i'm off hope you guys enjoyed this one i shall see you guys tomorrow take care thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos we'll see you soon take care